What's up guys, welcome to a, another video. Today we are going to be covering some of the most common RuneScape questions that I get asked while, especially while I'm streaming, it's probably the most common place that I see these, but I see them in YouTube video comments, I see them in my Discord server, um, people DM me on Discord and ask me about these questions as well. So these are the most common things that I get asked, and the reason I'm doing this is one, if I get asked these questions, hopefully being able to link a video will also help with explaining stuff as well, but also it just means that these are obviously things that people are looking for uh, answers to, so I should probably make a video on it, and hopefully it helps some of you guys out. Anyway, if you do enjoy, please do leave a like, do subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure some people will reply with answers to them. And if I have an answer, then I'll reply as well. But keep in mind, these are common questions, so many people will probably know the answer to them. Anyway, let's go. So there's likely just going to be some PVM background footage while we go through these. But the very first question that I get asked all the time, <laughs> probably the most common question most streamers using magic get asked all the time, is what are those ice spikes coming out of the ground? What is that ability? How do I get it? What is it? I mean, what are this? The ice spikes that are coming out of the ground is Insight Fear. It is a spell that you get from the city at St. Uh, it is called Insight Fear, like I just said, and it uses water runes and soul runes and some other stuff like blood and uh, maybe something else i don't know exactly but what insight fear is and what does it do is basically it gives you aoe damage and also it will give you stacks of a buff that will let you use tsunami with 40 percent adrenaline meaning you can get tsunami off which is an ultimate for a lot less adrenaline meaning that you can stack up those crits and stuff is tend to be used mostly with a staff of armadillo insight fear is pretty expensive to cast and it is a had level 99 spell i believe but it's very good and definitely something that you will want as a higher level magic user so that is what that is. In fact, this question gets asked in stream so much that we now have a command which is exclamation mark spell and it will immediately link to the RuneScape wiki page for that. When anybody does ask in the stream, that is the best way to give them extra information other than what I can answer on stream. The next question that I get quite a lot is, what combat style should I invest in? I'm currently using magic, should I swap to range? I'm currently using melee, should I swap to magic? I am currently using range, should I swap to melee? No, you shouldn't, but I'm just kidding. No, melee is still also viable, don't get me wrong, I'm just biased. Anyway, the answer to this question, in all honesty, especially at this point in the game right now, in my opinion at least, is whichever combat style you think that you're going to get the most enjoyment out of in all honesty that is probably the best way to do it if you are asking which combat style you should invest in you are either looking for two things one a good combat style or two the best combat style if you're looking for the absolute best to milk the dps out of it like crazy i do believe that maybe ranged is the best at the moment i could be wrong range and magic are pretty damn close i'm pretty sure melee still falls a little bit behind in some situations and then goes miles ahead in others like care about card mode i think um but in all seriousness the way the combat is at the moment in game there's not enough difference to the point where unless you are top tier player who is maybe even doing like hybrid stuff then you just pick the combat style that you think you're going to enjoy the most the only thing that you would really need to consider is certain bosses that you're going to kill so if you wanted to do a lot of necks for example then you're going to want to use ranged because you don't want to really want to use anything else at necks because it's just a pain in the ass but then if you are going to be doing things like i don't know let's say telos then magic might be a better option because yes while the fastest kills were done with ranged i believe at telos uh, it's not as easy. The stuns on magic and using crippling armor and stuff is a lot easier. If you're a person who's getting into PVM and all you want to do is casually get through bosses and not really put much effort in, then magic is going to be your way to go because tank gear and animate dead is going to give you that opportunity. So you need to think about these sort of things, but also just think about what you are going to enjoy the most. If you think you'll enjoy being a melee person, throwing around so throwing around swords, swinging around swords and stuff, then you, you do that. That's what you want to do. Um, but in all honesty, the best thing to do is just look think that looks the coolest that looks the most fun uh, and I, uh, that's what I want to do just consider the few factors of which bosses you want to do the most uh, and find out what's good there as well and then that's pretty much it but if you are someone looking to absolutely milk the most dps out of any combat style and say this is the absolute best honestly the best place to go for that would be the pvme discord and i'm sure there will be people in there that can tell you exactly 
what the best combat style is because I don't want to say this is the best right now because again I'm not a top tier PVMer. I don't know exactly 100% but in my opinion if you're looking for which combat style you should invest in and you're at that point of the game pick the one that excites you the most that way you're not going to get bored of the game anywhere near as quick because it's a big investment speaking of the PVME discord I will have them linked in the description because I will be mentioning them again later in this video this next one gets asked a freaking ton all the time. Should I get tier 92 weapons or should I get tier 99 prayers? Which one should I get? The tier 99 DPS curses or should I get a nice, uh, I don't know, Imperium core? Wait, that's the offhand. The um, the prayer souls. Should I get the prayer souls? Should I do that or should I or should I get the uh, the tier 99 curses? Well, this gets asked all the time and the answer is plain and simple. Get the tier 99 prayers as long as you have tier 90 weapons already. The upgrade from a tier 90 weapon to a tier 92 weapon is very minimal. So you're going to get more out of a tier 99 prayer in that situation. If that is the only situation you're comparing it to, obviously there is other things to consider too. Like what perks do you have? What other gear do you have? Do you have an essence of finality? Do you have loads of other things? But if your decision is just between a tier 92 weapon from tier 90 or a tier 99 curse, uh, whichever combat style you want to use it on, the best option is usually a tier 99 curse. You get more damage out of this. As like mentioned, the upgrade from a tier 90 to a tier 92 is very minimal. In fact, the upgrade from a tier 95 curse to a tier 99 curse is also fairly minimal, but it is still more than getting tier 90 to tier 92 weapons. So keep that in mind, that is the answer to this, there's not really much else to say on it. Um, obviously though, if you are looking at this purchase, and there is other things that you should upgrade next, which is going to be talking about in the next coin as well anyway, um, you should look into that first, because like I say, perks and stuff, perks may be a bigger upgrade for you if you don't have any, um, maybe getting an essence of finality will be better, there's lots of things to consider, which is like I say, what the next question is as well. Number four, the one leading on from the last one, what should I upgrade next? That is holy crap. That is that is probably is this the most common after the ice spikes? Probably. This is this is so the amount of people that come into stream, which is fine by the way. I'm glad when you guys do it because there's usually plenty of people there to help people out with answers and stuff. It's always good. Um, but when someone comes into stream and says this question of hi, I currently have this. What should I upgrade next? Obviously, that's a very broad question because we would need to know a lot more of what you have um, in your bank before we can actually suggest something because there's, there's so many different upgrades and stuff to get. But that being said, there is a simple way for most people to know what you should upgrade next because what should I upgrade next is confusing as hell. There is armor, there is weapons, there is perks, there is um, different tier of weapons, there's switches, there's <laughs> so many different things. There's shields, there's amulets, there's the rings, there's capes, there's quivers, there's rune pouches. There's so freaking much stuff that you need to buy and unlock and get sorted. Holy crap, there's actually so much stuff but the easy way to do this as i mentioned earlier in the video is probably the pvme uh, discord the pvme discord is full of useful information it's just i don't really use it personally myself because i'm too casual to be bothered um and i'm kind of at the point where i've got what i'm happy with and you know but for anyone looking to upgrade the pvme discord is like a freaking it's so good so there's a link in the description like i said go down there and check that out in there there specifically is an upgrade path for every combat style on what you want to buy next it will tell you and it's been worked out by the top tier players it's been worked out on what the next best valuable upgrade is going to be for you so at some point it's going to tell you that you should get a gothic staff or magic and then i'll tell you that you should get this and this um and it will work out what the next like um most value for money next big upgrade is and it'll tell you what that is you don't have to think about it you can just follow this and it's going to give you the best information on what you need to know not only that but of course you could also ask questions in there too um but the upgrade paths in there most people that are looking to get into pvm or upgrade gear and stuff will just follow those because it's right it's accurate it's good and it's it's a nice little guide to follow so again it is linked in the description so go and check that out also just to say as well i quite often do say like just go check the pvme discord and it's a very useful tool especially as a content creator to be able to give those answers to players that ask because i get these questions a lot uh considering the content on my channel and when i don't have the answer the best place for me to go and say is that so for the people who do write the stuff from pvme thank you very much it's pretty freaking badass that you spend that time so thank you the next question that is very common is, how do you make so much money so fast? Well, it's not too hard as a high level player to make a ton of money pretty quick. Uh, money making methods as a high level player and someone who has some 
what experience in pvm not the best experience in pvm but some enough i can kill every boss um i guess at some point but it's it's a lot easier at this point to do that now most of my money making comes from pvm it really does i don't think i really get much money anywhere else every now and again i'll do a little bit of something here and there if it comes out good but it's very common for me to just focus on pvm now as someone who is just starting out in runescape though it is kind of important to know this and i mention this all the time when i do money making stuff or anything like that uh, focus on your account man like you should absolutely be focusing on leveling your account up first and then looking at making money you still need money to level your account don't get me wrong but you can as soon as you get any money reinvest it back into your account level your account up focus on that first get to a higher level player and then making money becomes a hell of a lot easier making money in runescape does take a fairly big amount of time as well so if you're only playing an hour a day you're going to struggle to make a lot more money than someone who is playing maybe five hours a day now of course this is all relevant you could get super lucky and get a big drop but at that point you still need to be a higher level player so the root of it basically comes down to level up your account first any money you get earlier on which you are going to get because skills and raw materials and stuff will also make you money um doing slayer and stuff is going to make you money reinvest that back into your account level your account up and then if you are going to do things like learn to do pvm then learn to do pvm use that money reinvest it it's going to seem expensive you're going to have death costs you're going to have gear costs you're going to have loads of stuff but when you invest that money back into pvm you're going to be getting it back very very quickly at some point in the game it does take time before you see that return and you have excess because upgrading stuff doesn't stop for a long time but it does get to the point where you go hey i just made this much money and it's crazy and eventually you get to the point where you can make 50 to 100 mil an hour and if you get really really good at pvm and other stuff in the game then you can start making even way a above that too that being said there's not just pvm there's things like clue scrolls there's things like certain skilling methods uh there's certain things that you can do as daily money making there's lots of different things you can do but as a high level player these things get amplified so much more so i would suggest just focus on leveling up your account first high level players make much more money that's just how it is final question for this video that i see a lot is how do i increase my dps now there's um a lot of things that i could talk about on this one i could just say go to the pvme discord server again it's linked in the description <laughs> you could definitely do that there's a lot of tips and stuff in there uh, but also there's many other things too so uh, when i've done the coaching videos in the past of watching people um do kills and stuff to help them with dps a lot of the time it comes down to very simple basic stuff to add a lot of dps now overall i'm just going to say doing dps and stuff takes a lot of practice i still need to get a lot better with more stuff and if i sat and actually focused on how what do i need to do to actually increase my dps properly uh it, there, would, there would still be a lot of stuff that i need to learn like they, they absolutely would um but i'm happy with where it's at at the moment and i'm not really too fussed but basic stuff in general would be using all of the items that are available to you these are the common things that, that you can do now without much effort so using all of the items that are available to you in the senses of consumables so vulnerability bombs weapon poison incense sticks the right familiars use the scrolls use the right auras all of that sort of stuff use the right god book all of this sort of stuff makes a big difference the amount of players that don't take advantage of these um and then ask how to increase the dps is absolutely huge now this is because people are maybe learning pvm or maybe you've just um not really looked into loads of guides and stuff it's fine this is how it is so hopefully this does help you out with that but there's lots of stuff like that that people don't take advantage of and you definitely want to it will help you out more than you realize like drinking one bit of weapon poison from a weapon poison plus 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 potion drinking don't drink it put it on <laughs> using using weapon poison <laughs> using weapon poison will help you out a hell of a lot you probably don't realize how good this sort of thing really is vulnerability bombs 10 percent damage increase that doesn't sound like much right on paper 10 percent is huge in this game holy crap is it huge for throwing a vulnerability bomb that is absolutely worth it your tier 99 curses from tier 95 is not a 10 percent increase in damage so use vulnerability bombs and then of course there's upgrading gear getting the right switches getting the right perks all of this sort of stuff now all of this information on the right perks and whatnot and stuff again found on the normal wiki runescape wiki or in the pvme um discord as well so you might want to take a look through there on that sort of stuff but these are the basics that you can take advantage of right now and the rest of it kind of comes from practice over time and stuff and that's just how it is like you're going to be pvming more killing a boss thousand times your dps of that boss is going to be higher than killing a boss three times that's just how it kind of works uh, and things to keep in mind but if you're looking for a quick fix to things now look at your inventory your setups and stuff and compare that to somebody who does those bosses all the time and see if you're missing stuff that they are taking because you'll probably have some stuff that you can definitely take and it'll make a big difference 
All right, with all that being said, there's probably more questions that I could think of, but this video is going to get long because I like to fully explain myself in every single answer, apparently. But if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope that you found it useful and that you did enjoy it. Um, please do leave a like on it. It will help out a lot. And do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Something crazy like 70% of you guys that watch all of the videos aren't subscribed yet. And it's shown that when I've been saying this in the last few videos, I know it might get annoying for some people, but it has definitely shown a big difference as that graph is moving over a little bit so do check that you are subscribed but otherwise i hope you all found the video useful channel members your names will be on screen right now thank you all so much for the extra support that you guys provide and the people who are joining live streams and stuff and gifting uh, channel members and all that extra support and stuff it's absolutely crazy so i want to say thank you to all of you guys as well thank you very very much uh, but other than that i appreciate everybody watching the videos and leaving likes and stuff and i'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.